Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to do a simple project. Um, we're going to be airbrushing bubbles. And the way we're going to be doing that is I taped out the circle stencils. You can use paper or anything like that. This is a uh, drafting stencil. You can tape it or protect the edges from the overspray and that's all you need. First thing we're going to do is throw our stencil on the paper. I'm using a blue right now in this Neo Echo. And what we're going to do is airbrush around the edge and just get the color on the outside and leave the center kind of light or lighter. So let's go ahead and break it in. You're just going to want to slowly just do an even round circle. There you go, there's one. And we're gonna come back in later and add a highlight and it's gonna make it really look three-dimensional. I have four different sizes right here. You can make as many as you want and you're just gonna put them around on your paper, make a composition and just do, it, do what you wanna do. Just remember to keep on the outside of the circle. Try and keep the middle white. You can have them overlap, bubbles will show through each other so it's going to look uh, realistic. Let's get one of these smaller ones over here. Okay, then we'll do another little tiny one right here. And basically, you can just keep going around making bubbles. Let's try and do another one right here. Remember just to stay on the outside, keep a steady flow of paint, and you'll be making bubbles. You can do any kind of composition you want. Let's go ahead and throw another one right here. Just gonna keep that steady flow of paint on the outside. The reason you use a stencil is airbrush is so soft that you want these nice crisp edges and the only way to really get that is with stencils and airbrushing. Once again, just throwing the canvas up. Let's throw another one down here. Keep that steady flow on the outside. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab white and I'm just gonna use a different airbrush. And what we're gonna do is add the little highlights to the bubbles and it'll make it look three dimensional. And all you wanna do is like in our tutorial is you just wanna do a simple dot. So we're gonna start with our airbrush, get the air going and then simple dot. And it makes it look three dimensional. It's a highlight coming in. That's the way the light would hit the bubble, and it makes it three dimensional. So you're just gonna go ahead and just burst some dots. You can make them thick, you can make them soft. And there you go, you have yourself some bubbles. Smaller ones, you're gonna wanna do smaller dots. You can do bigger ones. And you can see now that it looks more three-dimensional when you add that highlight. Yeah, just get my dots and my highlights going. All right, and then you come back with blue and let's make some more bubbles. Let's get them spread out a little bit. Let's go over here. Same thing, just go around the edge. Nice and simple. Keep that center white. Let's try another one down here. Let's just do a smaller one right here. Keep it against the paper, nice and flush. Add some more of these tiny ones. Let's go. Tiny one right here as well. 
All right, then we come back in with our white. And let's add some more highlights. Give it a little dot. And you can see how it comes to life. As soon as you put that dot on, it really makes it turn into a bubble. And there you go. A simple way to make a fun project doing bubbles. You can do different compositions, interacting, separate. And that's how you make bubbles. So get out there and start airbrushing and have fun.